Hello, my name is Jonas, and I'm going to talk about the debate over whether time is linear as a set of events that occur one after another along a straight line, or if it perhaps is every moment in time happening at the same time. Uh, I think that's the two sides of the debate that get get really uh, most people take one of those sides I think uh, I think about it a lot uh, this is all just my opinion based on certain facts uh, so don't take this as like a lesson or anything I'm just talking about my opinion okay and I'm going to talk about it in relation to the, the fourth Four spatial dimensions, the first four spatial dimensions, okay? Alright. I'm gonna define each dimension first so that we know where we stand, know what we're talking about here. The first dimension. This is an example of the first dimension. It's a straight line. As you see I plotted three points along the line. Those points can move left and right. But they can only move left and right. They can't move up. They can't move out or back. They can't move down. Just left and right. That's one dimension. Doesn't extend into a plane. It's just one line. Left and right. Then you have the second dimension. Which you have the horizontal line. Moving back and forth. Left and right. Then you add to it a vertical line. Now this looks, I'm sure, like many of your algebra classes homework, your algebra class homework back in elementary school or middle school or whenever you took algebra. Um, I don't know when they take it now. That's not the point, but I, I think I took algebra in 6th uh, or 7th grade. But anyway, it's neither here nor there. This is a the x and the y axis as you would recognize this is two dimensions this is you can plot the point on this axis vertical on this axis horizontal or anywhere over here because you can go out and down or out and up that's two dimensions these they exist on a plane this is now a plane extended from these lines this piece of paper is a two-dimensional object just just a plane of vertical and horizontal. The third dimension, add another axis. You see here, you've got the see what I got here, horizontal, the vertical, and then you have one extra axis coming out the front and coming out the back. Now I've plotted some points on this graph, this the x, y, and z axis graph. Um, made this point up here, this is the z axis, so this would be closer to you. So I've made this point bigger, and to illustrate depth, made the points on the back smaller. So you see you can go out, or I mean you can go up and down, you can go left and right, and you can go forward and back. That's the third dimension. That's what we live in. That's what we live in three dimensions. Obviously, that's just a cube, three-dimensional object, uh, six sides, six squares put together, so each side is connected to another side, make a cube. Not too difficult of a concept. And here, this fourth dimension. Uh, this is where we get into the, the time debate. Is time linear, or does time happen each moment side by side, current, concurrently? Well, I look at it, my opinion is that time is not linear. Uh, it's just my opinion that time is not linear, that each moment is happening concurrently all the time. Uh, and this is why I think so, okay? This is how, you, one way you would just, uh, express a four-dimensional object. Okay, this is a very crude drawing, I know. Um, this is a hypercube, okay? Basically, 
what I do here was a, a small, it looks like a smaller cube offset inside a larger cube. But what you, what makes it the hypercube is that each uh, square of the cube is connected with the, the corresponding square of the other cube. Like the top two vertices here are connected to the top two vertices here. The bottom two vertices here are connected to the bottom two vertices here. And it's like that on every side. Um, this is greatly distorted because much like two dimensions, can't see three, two people in two, if you were a two dimensional person, you wouldn't be able to see three dimensions. Like, take this piece of paper as a two dimensional object. If they tried to show a two dimensional person a sphere, a ball, um, it would pass right through their two dimensional object and it would appear as a dot at first that grows progressively larger into a circle and then starts to shrink back down into a dot and then just completely disappears. It's because it's a 3D object moving through two dimensions. It's just a 3D object is just several two dimensional planes put together to add depth. Um, so that's how that would appear. They can't two dimensional people can't see three dimensions. They just can't even fathom it. Much like we can't fathom four dimensions. Uh, not quite sure how we would see it, but anyway, this is this uh I put it. This hypercube. Um, this is just one way to express it. Like I said, it's it's heavily distorted. These things right here, what it looks like on the top is it looks like it's a funnel down, like an upside down pyramid with the point cut off there up top. It's not actually like that. In the fourth dimension, it would actually be like another another cube. But we can't see it like that. Uh, we can only see it heavily distorted. Like, if this were to... If, this, if I could make this, like, rotate around, um, animate it, it would distort heavily in several different ways. You'd see points popping up here and there. And he's like, well, what? It, it would just look like a jumble of lines um, moving around. Uh, and that is how but that is how the hypercube is drawn most of the time and that's the fourth dimension um, space being the third dimension I would say time is the fourth dimension um, if time is the fourth dimension and if time were linear then you would plot the fourth dimension, or you would draw the fourth dimension like this. As you see, I've drawn a cube that extends back to where there's another cube right behind it. The front face of the second cube is touching the back face of the first cube. And then the third cube doing the same thing, front face touching the back of the second. And then down there. This, and it, it's in a linear fashion. If time were linear, this were this would be how we would plot the fourth dimension. You see, and be basically uh, this would look. This looks like three different cubes, but if it were time and this were the fourth dimension and time was linear, it's actually the same cube at different times. Such as the same cube as it moves through time. Uh, say the front cubes, the cube on Tuesday. The second cube's on Wednesday, and then the third cube is on Thursday. That is if time was linear. That would be what a 4D object would look like. And in a way, this, you can't, I mean, you can express it like that, because in a way, that is what the fourth dimension is. But, that's not how most people, or how generally, the fourth dimension is expressed. It's expressed like this, a hypercube, where all these corresponding sides are connected and makes it in a way that it's just a, this object that there's just no way we can fathom. Um, I, that's basically why I think, in my opinion, that time happens every moment happens concurrently 
with uh, every other moment, all the time. Um, see, cause it, in, in that same regard, just like in this, it's actually the same cube, just moving, it's on a, on a line, each one being a different time. That's what this would express too. Each one of these cubes is the same cube at a different time, but they're all happening together rather than one before and after another. Uh, like I said, this is not fact by any means. This is my opinion. Uh, I don't. I didn't go to college for this, whatever this would be. Um, I went for meteorology, so I mean, I took some calculus classes. That was about it. So no, by no, by no means an expert. Uh, I just think about it a lot, and that's that is what I would come to understand. It, that if time were linear, then in, of course we would express a 4D object like just a sequence of 3D objects. But if time were concurrent. Uh, we'd express it how we express the hypercube uh, and that's generally accepted as what the fourth dimension would look like um, and that's a bunch of different cubes connected in a way that looks distorted in three dimensions but in the fourth dimension it resolves quite nicely um, and I'd say that those are also would be the same cube at different times it's just they're all happening at once and so if you were a, f a fourth dimensional being like you're, a per like you're a person who lived in four dimensions, you would be able to move through space and time, basically. You'd be able to move through space, but you'd be able to move through the same space at different times, you know. So, that's my opinion. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people being like, oh, you're a fucking idiot. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So, yeah, you're probably right, but that's my opinion. If there's any science or math people out there that, and no, you're, that's just not right. I'd really like to hear from you, but uh, I mean, YouTube's kind of a cesspool I've seen in the comments. So do with it what you will. That's my opinion. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And uh, I'll talk to you next time.